power hitting infielder Jake Berger just got traded to the Miami Marlins in exchange for one of their top pitching prospects, Jake Elder. This trade is absolutely huge for the Marlins who are going out and getting another thumping power hitter to put in the middle of their lineup for their number four prospect in their farm system. Y'all know the drill. Hit that like button, subscribe. More trade videos coming up right after this. And this was a big one. This is going to impact both sides for many years to come. So we know the Marlins. They struggle with pitching and developing pitching. And they had Jake Berger until the end of 2028. So Berger is, is basically a rookie with 25 home runs. This season he's seeing 214, 25 home runs, 52 RBIs, and 806 OPS. 230 career hitter with 34 home runs. Uh, he came up in 2021. He played 51 games last year. Last season he had eight home runs. But this is the big power numbers, 25 home runs in 88 games. Still, that's like on pace for over 40 home runs in the season. Very good numbers. Now the White Sox getting back are left-handed pitcher Jake Elder in double A. He's 24 years old. Probably going to pitch at the big leagues this season. 60 fastball, 60 slider, 50 changeup, 50 control overall of 50. He has a 4-1-2 ERA this season uh, in 39 and a third innings pitch. Struck out 48, walked 21, 1-3-5 whip. Last season with double A, 177 ERA in, 50, in 15 starts, 71 and a third innings pitch, 99 strikeouts, 27 walks, 0.98 whip. Typically, Elder limits the hits and tends to walk a fair bit of guys, but he's a big left-handed pitcher, 6'4", 215, and has a very, very good fastball, about mid-90s, mid touches like 98, 99. And I think this is a big pickup for the, the White Sox. And then for the Marlins, you guys desperately needed another bat, and you guys got one. So I really like this trade for both sides. One thing to note is that Eater just came back from Tommy John surgery, and just a lot of people are just loving how he's pitched since re uh, returning and that's just a big trade for both sides i mean both these guys are going to have control into the late tw 2020s the 2020 decade 2028 2029 both these guys control i mean that is that's a long time this this trade's gonna it's gonna be interesting to follow the career burger if he's hitting 40 home runs a year the marlins are gonna take it either if the, he has a mid threes era the White Sox are going to take it. You can't go wrong. Both sides, I think, are going to be plus on this. I like it for both sides. And I want to know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below. You know, let me know. Who do you think won this trade? This one's fairly even. I think it's good value for both sides. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.